Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Saturday. Uh, we begin with the service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And we sing, uh, O Gracious Light, to Talus Cannon. I will indicate with a second voice is to come in. O Gracious Light, Lord Jesus Christ, in you the Father's glory shone. Immortal, holy, blessed is he, and blessed are you, his holy Son. Now sunset comes, but light shines forth. The lamps are lit to pierce the night. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit God, who dwells in the eternal light. Worthy are you of endless praise, O Son of God, life-giving Lord. Wherefore you are through all the earth, and in the highest have not dawned. And our psalm is Psalm 138, which we say together. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods I sing your praise. I bow down towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For though the Lord is high, he regards the lowly, but the haughty he perceives them from far away. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve me against the wrath of my enemies. You stretch out your hand, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we sing Alleluia, sing to Jesus. Alleluia, sing to Jesus, is the scepter, is the throne. Alleluia, is the triumph, is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peaceful Zion, thunder like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every nation, has redeemed us by his blood. Alleluia, not as orphans are we left in sorrow now. Alleluia, his hear us, faith believes no questions how. Though the cloud from sight received him When the forty days were o'er Shall our hearts forget his promise I am with you evermore Alleluia, bread of Alleluia, hear the sinful Lead to you from day to day In 
intercessor, friend of sinners, earth's redeemer, pair our plea. Where the songs of all the sinners sweep across the crystal sea. And our gospel reading is Matthew 15, verses 1 to 20. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands before they eat. He answered them, And why do you break the commandment of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and your mother. Whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that whoever tells father or mother, Whatsoever support you might have had from me is given to God, then that person need not honor the father. So for the sake of your tradition, you make void the word of God. You hypocrites! Isaiah prophesied rightly about you when he said, This people honors me with their lips but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. Then he called the crowd to him and said to them, Listen and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but it is what comes out of the mouth that defiles. Then the disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. And if one blind person guides another, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, Explain this parable to us. Then he said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth enters the stomach and goes out into the sewer? But whatever comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this is what defiles. For out of the heart comes evil intentions, murder, adultery, fornication, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person. But to eat with unwashed hands does not defile. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus and his disciples weren't living in the time of COVID-19. Um, when we know exactly how important it is to wash our hands uh, before we eat or be after we've touched anything. Uh, and so, but here Jesus is not talking really about uh, physical health. He's talking about um, our health as human beings and our growth and development. For Jesus, relationship and right relationship, as I said before, was the most important thing to him. And so while the, uh, the hypocrites, the Pharisees and the scribes, while they keep to the letter of the law, their hearts are not in it. Their hearts um, do not honor a relationship, uh, treat other people as, as uh, unimportant uh, or even like refuse, really. Uh, so Jesus is saying it's really what comes out of the heart that is important. Um, now, for us during COVID-19 and all times, your mother was right, wash your hands. Um, but even more important than that, what's in your heart? Uh, how do you respond to other people? Uh, those you know, those you don't know, strangers on the street. Um, let your heart be pure. Uh, let the love of God which is in you uh, proceed from your heart in terms of all your relationships. Thank you. We sing uh, together the Magnificat, the Song of Mary. Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord. Unnumbered blessings give my spirit voice. Tender to me the promise of his word. To God my Saviour shall my heart rejoice. 
Tell out my soul the greatness of his name. Make known his might, the deeds his arm has done. His mercy show from age to age the same. His holy name, the Lord, the mighty one. Tell out my soul the greatness of his might. Powers and dominions lay their glory by. Proud hearts and stubborn wills are put to flight. The hungry fed, the humble lifted high. Tell out my soul the glories of his word. Firm is his promise and his mercy sure. Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord. To children's children and forevermore. And let us say together the hero Israel. Hear, O Israel, for the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. In our prayers today, uh, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, let us respond with, hear our prayer. Let us ask the Lord for a day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others as he has loved us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world, especially we pray for justice uh, between races. We pray for an end to racism, which racks our world, uh, all the countries of the world. We pray for wherever there is hatred and violence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. We pray especially for the poor uh, throughout the world. We pray, O oh Lord, that we might be able to respond with generosity in right relationship with the poor. We pray for the sick, especially those going through a very difficult time, for those in hospital, those who are afraid, and their families. We pray for those undergoing treatment. We pray for those who support them, doctors, nurses, primary care workers, essential service workers. We give you thanks for them, Lord. Uphold them in their work encourage them, give them moments of joy in the midst of their hard work, and give them insight into the way forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We give you thanks for all who die, have died. And for those who are dying, we pray, O oh Lord, that they might know the light of your presence welcoming them into the heavenly kingdom. We pray for all who mourn, that even in the midst of their grief, they might have a glimpse of their loved one's joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of his life-giving spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our parish cycle of prayer today, we pray for uh, 10 more uh, households in our family. We pray for Lindsay and Suzanne uh, Weatherden. We pray for Margaret Webb, for Bailey Webster, for jo uh, John and Heather Wendy, for Anthem uh, Tony Whip and Faith Trollope, for Roger and Heather White, for George and Janet Whitehouse, for Mark and Trudy Wickens, 
for Hannah Vigand and for Roger Wilkie and Carolyn Wilkie and their sons, Davis and Matthew. We pray, O oh Lord, that they might all know that they belong to a community of faith which supports them, even though we are far from them and far from each other. We pray for all the people represented by the people, for the parishes of the people represented uh, praying today. We pray that all of us might uh, find our way, our ministry, in whatever way that is, in reaching out, in, in caring, in, in telephoning and helping to raise people's spirits. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today we pray for the New Guinea Islands in Papua New Guinea and Dennis Kabe Kabe, their bishop, and the Diocese of Algoma and the Right Reverend Andrew Mond, their bishop, for New Hampshire and the Right Reverend Robert Hirschfield, for the All Saints Cathedral Diocese in Kenya and the Most Reverend Jackson Ole Safit, and for Isikwatu in Nigeria and the Right Reverend Manassas Chidjokem Okere, their bishop. We pray for all the clergy and people of those dioceses. And uh, the collect uh, for this uh, week. O oh God, your never failing providence sets in order all things, both in heaven and on earth. Put away from us, we entreat you, all hurtful things. And give us those things which are profitable for us through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we continue as we sing together the day thou gavest. The day thou gavest, Lord, is ended. The darkness falls at thy behest. To thee our morning hymns ascended, thy praise shall sanctify our rest. We thank thee that thy church unsleeping, while earth rolls onward into light, through all the world her watch is keeping, and rests not now by day or night. As o'er each continent and island the dawn leads on another day, the voice of prayer is never silent, nor dies the strain of praise away. The sun that bids us rest is waking, thy faithful neath the western sky. And hour by hour fresh lips are making thy wondrous doings heard on high. So be it, Lord, thy throne shall never, like earth's proud empires, pass away. Thy kingdom stands and grows forever till all thy creatures own thy sway. 
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways and at all times. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, tomorrow being Sunday, we have our uh, morning worship at 9 a.m. At 10 a.m. is the diocesan uh, worship, uh, which you can find on their Facebook page. And at 11 a.m., we have our Zoom coffee hour. Uh, and uh, the invitation for all of that will go out uh, in, the, in an email uh, that you will also receive uh, before this service. So um, hope to see you at one or all of those. Uh, and also tomorrow evening, of course, we'll have uh, the evening prayer as well. Okay, well, have a good evening. Bye.